last couple of weeks you shot the ball a lot better, especially from three-point land. What happens? Is it just a matter of getting your rhythm or? Yeah, you know, I, I, when I'm feeling better and my legs feel better and my back feel better, I, I not only shoot the ball better, but I also take the ball to the basket more and I get more layups and things like that. So, you know, if you get into a game and you, and you can get in there and get a few easy layups and things like that, especially when you're only taking like five or six or seven shots a game, that's going to help your percentage. And plus, you know, get your confidence up. And uh, the last couple of weeks, I've really been starting to shoot the ball like I know how I can and just playing a lot better all around. So it's been encouraging. How is that for you, knowing you may get three, four, five, six shots in a game? Is it an adjustment for a guy that scored more early in his yeah, career? I don't, I don't care. You know, I've done, you know, pretty much everything I want to do personally in this league, and all I really care about is winning. And I really enjoy being on this team, and I think what makes this team so good is guys accepting their roles. I mean, we got two main guys right now who score, and that's Timmy and, and Zoe, and everybody else is kind of filling your role, and everybody enjoys that role. So, you know, whatever I can do to help this, this team better and help it win the championship is fine with me. You've covered just about every gunner there is in the NBA, from Miller to Hill to all the rest, and, and done a darn good job. And every time we ask you about it, you kind of downplay the whole thing. Is this the best defense you've played? No. No. I've, uh, in my early years, I was actually all second defensive team. And uh, I was the same thing in Phoenix. I was kind of the guy who was the stopper, who was put on the best guy. And obviously, I've lost a lot of quickness and the jumping ability and that thing. So it's, defense is a lot harder now. But uh, I know if I get beat off the dribble or if somebody beats me, Zoe and PJ and those guys are back there blocking shots. So it makes it a lot easier to play defense here. When you guys started one and three, I, I know I, for one, was one that said, uh-oh, this team's in big trouble. What were you thinking? I think everybody, everybody, everybody on this team, I think, said, uh-oh. I mean, it was hard not to. After that Boston game, we played so bad and lost our first two home games here. Uh, just didn't look very good, but it was early in the season. Uh, training camp, you know, didn't really have one. Uh, and then Mash got hurt and Bo was hurt, and everybody kind of rallied around each other, and we got our defensive float uh, going, and everything kind of fed off our defense. And, you know, like I said, everybody fell into a role and been playing great. So, you know, I was a little worried there in the beginning, too, but everybody stepped it up and we're playing great. The chemistry of this team, it seems like whatever the role is of every guy, you guys seem to click. Yeah, we got great chemistry. Uh, you know, I think with the, with the addition of Clarence Weatherspoon and Terry Porter, two veteran guys, you know, especially Terry. Terry's been doing a couple championship series. Uh, you know, he's been very successful in this league, and I think all he wants to do now is win, too. So you got guys coming off the bench who are not only, you know, great players, but veteran guys who understand how to play the game. You know, that gives us a big lift, not only on the court, but off the court. I kept complaining to the refs about Dan and, uh, and Terry hand-checking me, especially when I was driving to the basket. Now, last time you played against uh, Hardaway in Orlando, you shut him down, and he came out all fired up after the game. They didn't do this, that, this. He was screaming and crying about officials. Now you get a chance to go against him on his court. It seems like everybody does that when we get done playing. Marley can't guard me. Well, that's fine. As long as they keep saying that, and as long as they don't keep scoring, that's fine with me. Like, I, I don't like to rile people up because those guys are hard enough to stop you know, without getting them all psyched up. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be able to stop anybody. It's up to the team to do it, and it's going to be a tough game in, in Orlando, especially going in there and playing. Uh, it's a tough place to play. They played well there, and we got a little rivalry going with them. So on Sunday on an NBC game, it's going to be a very exciting game. It's going to be the end of our road trip, so um, it's going to be a fun one.